everyone, welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well. Happy New Year. Can't believe we're going into a new year already. Um, so, I hope you all had a good Christmas. Uh, thank you for giving me a bit of like downtime. I did really, really need it. Um, so, what we're going to do today is what's 2019 going to hold for you and your person? Because, you know, we're starting on the fresh, fresh, we're starting it fresh. Um, okay, so we're going to do deck number one and this is going to be deck number two if you haven't seen these uh i know i've used them in private readings i don't know if i've used them in a public one before they're very divine feminine energy they're beautiful i absolutely love them um and then we've got a more masculine deck so we've got a masculine energy deck and a feminine energy deck remember nothing is ever gender specific or sexually orientated so just go to where your stomach chakras are pulling you um, so number one, number two, and we're going to look at what's 2019 hold for you and your person. Um, three, two, one. Okay, so thank you all for any donations that you've made. I'm going to add up the total for the, not the, the World Wrestling, what, what did one of you say? The World Wrestling Centre or something, WWF in America. Um, yeah, it's my collector's energy deck number one. Um, the World Wildlife Fund. <laughs> Think about your person can uh, get into the collective energy of that. So as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, so if anything doesn't resonate and doesn't make sense for you, then just remember it because it's going to probably come up at a later date. It normally does. Can you get me into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And then let's see what 2019 is going to hold for you and your person. So it's irrelevant, again, what all your individual circumstances are, because it works on strongest mutual energy. So one of, you know, some of you might not have heard from them for however long. Some of you are still in contact. It's irrelevant to what's going to be happening because it's your strongest mutual energy. Okay, let's go. Can you tell me what is going to happen in 2019 for my collective and their person? got Manny uh, by Nelly Furtado in my head. I went, uh, that's a message I think, but I'm not sure it's for you lot. It might be for you lot. For, it's gonna happen in 2019. One, two, oh, three. Let's get one more. Two more. Okay. So, as we're kind of going into the start of the year, there is quite a bit of uncertainty going on with you and your person. You're not entirely sure where you stand, what's happening, and um, you're not sure what's going on in their head and in their heart. Um, you're trying to put what you think is going on in their head and their heart because some of you are getting actions that are a bit crappy, some of you aren't getting actions at all, and therefore you're trying to work out, going into the inner workings of the brain and find out what is actually happening. I've got a crown on me yet, by the way, I thought it was New Year, wear a crown. Um, so you're trying to work it all through and what's going on with them, but you're actually adding two and two and you're making 20. Your person is feeling quite isolated and alone at the moment and there is an element of jealousy going forward they are feeling quite abandoned and you are feeling that abandonment as well you're trying to be putting any of you that say that i talk too fast as well um i'm sorry but it's channeled so it comes from spirit and i can't slow them down so unless and you, you just got to press like the slow button or something so someone says there's a slow button um so basically they're feeling that um uh, isolated abandoned and alone you're trying to work it all free you've been googling a lot of you have been googling what's actually happening with what type of relationship it is trying to get some understanding to what's actually going on within your relationship or equivalent of relationship now you're going into the new year and you're feeling like it's time to put the past behind you i'm hearing um, and be focusing on the essence of what you and your person really are which is love so we've got the two of cups i love this card again it's kind of this card i know i mentioned it when we get used this deck it's about seeing things from other people's perspectives um it's all very one-sided like you're I'm not being like mean or whatever, but we all kind of think, oh, this is how it is, this is how it is, this is how it is. You're trying to throw on them what's going on in their head. Um, and you both, both of you are failing to see it from each other's perspective. Your person as well can be quite selfish. I'm hearing, again, collective energy, 
doesn't mean it's all of you, but some of you, your people are quite selfish and they do see things from one perspective and they do think, oh, what's going to be right for me? Um, so that's kind of where you are as the energy of the year starts. You're going to be then going into some kind of thought processes. You're going to be starting to manifest situations moving forward. Some of you are manifesting already. Spirit is saying that your manifestations are working. Again, they're bringing up the 444s. If you aren't seeing it, look out for 444s because things are happening behind the scenes. Things are also happening on a higher dimensional frequency. I'm being told as well. There are a lot of experiences of dark nights of the soul going as on as well, Spirit is saying. So it's kind of this reality check is hitting in with you and your person as you're stepping into the new year. And you're starting to think, well, you know what, I've had enough of this shit. You know, and I, I say this in private readings and I say, it, you know, do what makes you happy. I always think if a situation doesn't make you happy anymore, then you need to kind of reassess that. So if you're waiting and you're thinking, oh, I've been waiting really, really long, the outcome generally is that not, nothing will, it doesn't matter whether you decide to stay put, move on or whatever you do, because the outcome will still be the same, that they'll still come back. According to your collective energy, again, we'd have to look at it in private readings, but you've got the four of wands at the top for celebration. So just do what makes you happy. Go and spend some time out with your mates. Go and enjoy your New Year's night. Um, you're manifesting your passions. Um, and again, this isn't just, this is coming through as work for a lot of you as well and spiritual gifts and all your individual circumstances and situations. You're trying to manifest the outcomes that you want. So again, focus it on the passion. Your person is then thinking things through as we're going into spring, I'm hearing. Um, you are then feeling more confident in yourself. They are starting to make moves towards you. You are still looking at them. They are still looking at you. Um, there is still an element of jealousy happening with a lot of you as well. Um, but you are starting to see things from each other's perspective. Um, you're trying to, that does feel to be you. Some of you, it will be the other way around. You're trying to wave your hand in the air, say, hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, remember me? Um, that's kind of happening. Um, and again, some of you, that will be the other way around. So you'll be like moving on, moving forward, etc., etc. Um, and they will be shining like saying hey I'm over here remember me um, remember as well moving on and letting go are two separate things remember that um, your person as well is likely to be needing you again your collective energy liking likely to be needing you to kind of move them and you together forward if that makes sense so there's going to be a lot of situations that are happening with your people which goes back to the other readings about these tower moments and these tower moments are going to be happening with your person and then they're going to come to you where you are holding the book and gaining the advice and ask you what's actually going on from a higher perspective and um, there is still going to be fears there is still going to be a lot of a lot of you are finding yourselves and you're doing really really well you're standing in your power you're standing in your queen of swords energy and your or king of swords energy and you are trusting the universe so it you're going in a bit of a cycle here so at the beginning of your year you're burning your books then you're moving forward and you're helping them with your books kind of open and they're moving with you and then you're trusting the universe you've got all your books of everything you've kind of learned trusting the universe on the phone to them trying to talk to them talk talk through everything that's kind of been going on so it's looking quite positive there is still going to be an element of fear there is still that uh the chi i'm sure it's chinese the red string of destiny or whatever it's called and um, that's coming forward here a lot of you um are feeling you're like, if I'm any stronger, I'll be made of aluminium and I can't break and blah, 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 blah. Remember, you still have a heart. Remember that. So you're not, um, you, you know, you, you're not hard and you, you haven't cut off everyone and you haven't done this, you haven't done that. There is still a heart within you um, or you wouldn't be watching the video. So please don't ever think that you're not lovable or anything like that. Don't ever view yourself as that. Um, but you are on self-protect and you are scared of being tired and um, you're scared of what to say in case they say this, that and the other. Um, but you've got to stand in your power, you know, and have a bit of faith and trust in the process. The, this devil card has got a crown on as well. Then your person is having this weight, as we keep on going throughout the year, the last, you know, it, the timings on this, it's kind of irrelevant because it's just 2019 as a whole, but it's just as the year kind of progresses. So you've got your celebration coming backwards. Um, a lot of you, that will be around springtime. A lot of you, that will be around springtime. Some of you, obviously, it will be before. Some of you, obviously, be after. But remember, time is fluid. Um, then you've got the star, the eight of pentacles and awakening. So they have a, they're going to have this wake up call as a you. They start looking into their books and work out what's going on and then right path, things moving forward, divine relationship, um, time to, you know, 
push it forward you, you'll be navigating the situation with them or the a lot of the blocks and barriers will have ceased i'm hearing as well um so you it's kind of it's that this it's a, you and a bleh, 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 bleh. Sorry, they were talking all at the same time then. It's like this jigsaw, you and your person are a jigsaw and dominoes. So it's like all the jigsaw pieces have got to fit in together. So you can see the bigger picture of it. That's what a lot of you for 2019 will be. Um, and then again, your dominoes have already started falling. So um, I don't know, in countries, um, in England and the America, etc. have a game called dominoes and you kind of, well, the game you don't do but you, you used to like put all the dominoes standing upright and then you flick one and then they go round and round and round and once a domino goes they all they all go so a lot of you um the dominoes have already started falling so you're already well underway with your path and the journey and things like that have a bit of trust and faith in the process have a bit of trust and faith in yourself don't let fears rise up you know there are a lot of um fears are going on at the moment of releasing um abandonment rejection jealousy this is kind of the fears that a lot of divine relationships are clearing at the moment um, and through that clearing of that energy um, that's when we can start moving things forward in full hope and trust and respect for ourselves so just keep going if you're feeling like you're abandoned you're feeling like you're alone you know tonight is a fresh start um keep moving forward let the past go do a lot of releasing meditations lots of letting go meditations anything like that will help you move forward um, and keep focused keep focusing that energy back to yourself and just do what makes you happy let the year naturally unfold without you pushing it try to release expectation because if you're holding on to expectation you're not letting the universe navigate around it um and let it go and relax and enjoy your new year go and have some drinks with your mates and let your hair down i'm having a girls night in so it'll be a good one we might go out as well i think so have a really really good night deck number one and a fabulous 2019 let's do deck number two okay Ooh. if you're gonna say my dog isn't here that's because she isn't i went away for christmas and I left him at my parents. Let's see my postman. Ooh. Hiya, thanks. Hiya. Yeah. Hiya. Thanks, Hiya. love. Hiya. Do you want to see my road? This is where I live. That's England. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's where I live. It's always happened, doesn't it? You'll, you'll be happy to know that the parcel that is in my hands is a new tarot deck. It's called the Brady Tarot, and um, might have spent a bit too much money on it. <laughs> Whoops! Never mind, never mind. Right, deck number two. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Nice tour of me flat. I messed my camera angle up and everything. Okay, let's do deck two. So, what does 2019 hold for you and your person? 13, 10. Okay, can you get me into my collector's energy of deck number two, please? Yeah, my dog, I left her at me. I went away for Christmas and then I'm getting her back for... Not tomorrow, day after tomorrow. So I'm like, Mr. There's no woofing or no, no chorus de dog. Dog serenading. Okay, uh, right, can you think about your person? So, as always, this works in the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later day. I dip into your energies, I dip into all your people's energies and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Set number two. And can you tell me what is going to be happening with them and their person in 2019, the overall energy of it? I just got, uh, oh shit, is it James Arthur, say you won't let go, say, say you won't, yeah, say you won't let go, James Arthur, for you lot, I didn't get a song for that no more, okay, can you tell me please, what is 2019 got in store for my beautiful deck number two, one, two, you need a holiday, three, <laughs> Four, five, I love this deck. Six, 
seven. Even though they're like, uh, the pictures are darker, I just love the women on them. It's such a divine, feminine, powerful, um, powerful deck. Okay. So, what's going to be happening in 2019 for you and your person? Now, remember, I said in deck one, this is kind of as we're progressing through the year, but you are going to be at different stages and things like that. So, just um, take what resonates as you need to. Your person is still clinging on to the situation and their tower is happening. So, I know I mentioned this in one of the other readings the other day. Um, they are starting to realise what is um, how they are feeling about the situation and they are trying to protect you as well and protect themselves and protect your relationship so if you aren't in contact or anything like that there's an element of protection that is happening from their point of view trying to look after you and look after all of you to keep this relationship safe as it is um this tower over here hasn't got any windows or anything like that they're they're feeling a bit of a shadow of them form their former selves i'm hearing um and even though the flames, like they've got this fire within their soul, they're feeling like this fire is kind of smouldering at the moment, that it's not maybe smothering, probably, rather than smouldering. I think that's the right word. I heard it come through. Um, I got a bit muddled. You know when you put a fire down and it just kind of smokes a little bit? Um, they're feeling like that. They're feeling a little bit lost at the moment as we're stepping into the new year. And they are clinging on to the situation. And a lot of you are echoing that kind of energy as you're feeling the same. A lot of them are feeling whimsical. You're also feeling majestical. I'm hearing as well. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm hearing that. Um, and you're starting to feel as if you are in your power as well. You are having ups and downs. Obviously, you're having ups and downs. But you're, you've, a lot of you have got into the mind frame of whatever will be, will be. You are still holding them close to your heart though so you're both clinging on to the situation and they're trying to protect it um at this point in time they're trying to just look after keep it safe and sound so if you're not in contact or anything like that a lot of it will be because they're trying to not make the relationship anything bad happen within that relationship they're just leaving it be um if you are in contact etc same kind of thing if they're a little bit hot and cold with you or you feel like nothing's really happening they are trying to be protecting that energy so you've got the Six of Swords and the Devil. So as the year kind of goes on, a lot of you, it will be a little bit backwards and forwards. There is fears going up. I said in deck one, I know some of you will have skipped forward. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of divine relationships are clearing this abandonment, isolation energy at the moment. Um, so these fears will be to do with that. Oh, I'm not good enough. Or what if they want this? And what if they want that? And I can't do this. And, um, and if you're putting pressure on them as well, if you're texting them and wanting this, that and the other from them, what will happen is that you will push them the other way because they're not feeling that they're good enough for you. So you're putting pressure on them to get what you want. And they're thinking, oh my God, I can't cope with this. They're never going to want me exactly how I am. You know, I always say to people, you have to trust that your person is exactly the same person you met, not what you want them to be. You need to be aware of that. Um, some of you will go on holiday as well. Go let your hair down, which is cool. Um, there's also an element of passion and seduction in this as well. I'm hearing um, a lot of you read The Art of Seduction. It's a really good book, that. Really good book. Um, then we're moving forward so then there's choices as well the year's kind of going on there's choices chances and changes and the knight of cups so a lot of you will become there uh, people will be coming towards you movement towards you leaving the past behind leaving the crap behind and making movement with heart-centered energy they'll be coming towards you so over here with this tower they are protecting they've got it in this circle sorry manchester's dead loud today um protecting in this circle and then this heart-centered energy pulling them forwards, pulling you forwards, uh, being the light. You are being going to have to be, you will be their light within the dark times that they're going to go through. So they're in this dark time at the moment. As the year goes on, they're going to might make choices. You will be actually at the forefront of, the, of those choices. I'm hearing as well. Heart-centered energy moving you forward. Then your cards are really good. You've got the Wheel of the Wheel, Ace of Cups and Chariot. <laughs> So it's a good one. You've got things turning in your direction. You've got an element of union coming forward. Now, if you're a person and you do go through another period of separation, now that isn't all of you, that is some of you, please do not panic. Remember, there is a higher uh, perspective and a higher purpose for everything that is going on. Um, 
and it's about putting, again, I said in deck one that the jigsaw pieces are kind of fitting in, are going to be fitting in, and that's where you and your person are going to be moving the situation forward. There's also an element of spirit guiding this and being wise and new beginnings are stepping in as the year goes forward. The red thread of destiny is on this as well. Um, don't let fears about betrayal and, and um, lack of trust get into your energy obviously some of you have had that kind of come up to the surface within your relationships that has come to the forefront of everything but try not to let it get a hold of your energy do a lot of energy clearing because if you're holding on to that um you're not creating space for anything new to come to you whether it's with your old person whether it's bringing someone new into your life um things moving forward world can be some kind of union it can also be endings of cycles beginning of new ones um but either way you're in your power you're you're feeling strong you've got the triple moon goddess for all my little wiccans out there um on this card divine feminine energy remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated but you'll be standing in your power and letting the world uh, things move forward letting the universe take control with the world card as well and then you have the ace of cups and the chariot long-term objectives being met a lot of choices that you will make this year will be dependent on what you want so you're going to be putting that focus back towards you which is really really good which means they have to kind of cut, tie in line with that um and the ace of cups she's also in a wedding dress some of you are going to get wedding proposals this year um not all of not many of you but some of you are um I know I've had a couple of wedding proposals come through already. People have said to me, Ali, it's worked. So I've got invites to India, mainly India, here, there and everywhere. You're like, you got us that together. So congratulations to all of you. 2019 is going to be a kick-ass year for you. Um, manifest, manifest, manifest. Get the outcomes that you want, you know. You have tools and tricks within this universe and we in, you see it's easy in the higher dimensions it's easy you know you want something you get it you click your fingers it's there that's basically just a bit and the reason we're here is free will and to use the tools that we have got to get what we want so manifesting it um you know people will say oh it's predetermined life is never predetermined i know I'm bang on about this as well or if uh, we're going to be together because so and so says so there's free will involved you know tarot etc works on most probable outcomes um but we always have free will so some things will be predetermined like you were obviously probably well you were always going to meet your divine counterpart or equivalent that was always going to happen um but what lessons you go what pathway you go down those are down to you and them so i would have always been a spiritual lady lady probably right, right word for me spiritual lady but what pathway i went with it whether it's healing energy clearing etc etc or tarot that was my choice and my free will. So always remember that as well. Nothing's predetermined. So you can uh, you can use the situation to your to your benefit. Those of you that say, "Oh, I don't want to manipulate the free will," you can't. Manifesting does not manipulate free will. It couldn't do that. Basically, what happens with manifesting is that you have your um, Abraham Hicks or do you world of good guys? If you haven't listened to her, her slash him, go and have a listen to Abraham Hicks. Um, You've got your vortex that's kind of spinning around you. They've got their vortex spinning around them. And you and them will be in each other's vortex, which means you can manifest one another. But if you're trying to affect their free will, etc., etc., you will get a nice slice of karma. And it most likely won't work, especially if it's manifesting. Um, it won't work. The universe wouldn't let that happen. So um, focus on what you want and the universe will align that back up with you. Um, those of you that are struggling for money, I know I've had a lot of that at the moment, um, just ask the universe for some dollar, just say, or um, dollar money, just say, uh, dear universe, what would it take for me to get some money as if by magic and with total ease, or um, any of you that are talking about debts, please don't say that word because you just manifest more debt, just say past expenditures, because debt is a negative connotation of the word, um, try and remember not to say anything negative like, I, I, um, what would it take for me to not be as big as that like if you want to lose weight not be as um rounded as i am at the moment <laughs> or something like that because what you're doing then is you're manifesting that same with money what would it take for me to uh, clear all my debt you you're making it worse so just think about that as well um attract you attract what you fear so be aware of that as well if you need your manifesting plans doing holler me um and that's me babbling on so have a fabulous 2019 be safe be good 
Um, what do I say? If you can't be good, be safe. And if you can't be safe, go and buy a pram. <laughs> go and look after yourselves, guys. Take care. Love you lots. Have a good one. Speak to you in the new year. Bye.